Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Something really strange has happened. No, that's better. Well, I call it really strange because the other day, let me see. Um, well, I didn't didn't pull my own video up. Hold on a second. I have to open a new tab. Let me go to my own video. All right. Now, okay, yesterday, well, it says a day ago, so maybe it was, it was the 12th. Listen to how it begins. This is my video. Listen to my words for a minute. Brothers and sisters in Christ, um, I was sent a link to this video by Steve Mac 88 and it's called, now get this, it's called Brace Yourself. Perilous times are before us, but Jesus is coming quickly. There are 444 okay. thumbs up and seven thumbs down. Okay. <laughs> is that all right? That's how I started it, and then shortly after that, I started playing the video. Now, listen. A coincidence, I don't know. It was put out July 11th, and I would like to play it for you. So here it goes. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with y'all some things that I found to be pretty significant, um, and you can draw that conclusion yourself. Things that I've experienced. I'm moving it forward. So a few days ago. I made a request of the Lord before going to bed that I wouldn't normally make. Because the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is established. So, I'm uh, Oh my gosh, I was going to start with that and I forgot. I have it pulled up here. 2 Corinthians 13.1 This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Okay, <laughs> Okay, that blows my mind. Okay, I was going to start with that. Anyway, let me continue. My God, if you could confirm some of these dreams and visions that I've had tonight, just to strengthen uh, the, the word behind knows what I've heard. He knows what. Uh, so here's what happened. <laughs> In the past, I've had dreams and visions, and the Lord has shown me things, you know, regarding uh, fires and looting and quarantine and, man, you name it, the dollar failing and the money going away. And Okay, long story short, his dream, or the dreams he's been having, were a confirmation for what Dana Coverstone had. His second dream was on June 30th that had to do with July, August, September, October, November. Do you remember that? Okay, when I make a video using, you know, like I'm sharing somebody else's video, which is what I usually do, I go back to that video, I click on share, and the URL shows up. I copy it to make sure I make no mistakes and I just paste it into the description box of my video so that you can go back to the original source and check it. Well, <laughs> this is weird. One of you did that even though I played the whole thing here. Maybe she wanted to see the person watch their facial expressions, watch their hand gestures, things like that. It helps you to discern if this person's from the Lord. I get that. I just didn't want those of you who can't see the description box to have to do, uh, type all that in to get it. Okay. Okay, now here's the weird part. She sends me an email, and she said... She said, Jeannie, there's, uh, well, I could pull it up. Okay, we have a whole string of them here. 
she said, who, um, okay, wait a minute. The message you put up with the orange screen, I watched it. What I watched, it was a black man think he was an apostle. I think he was an apostle, she was saying. Now, it's this guy. Can you explain who really had the dream? Thanks. Okay. She, she titled it Confused. All right. I said, because I just went back to my video and I clicked on the link. Thinking, I always do that. I always put the link to the whoever's video. Because I was so tired, I couldn't even remember what that video was about. Just that quick. Okay, I put it up day before yesterday, and this was yesterday. I clicked on the link. It takes me to Steve Mack. Remember I said in the video, someone sent me a link to a video... By Steve Mack 88. Okay. Steve Mack 88 is a black man. The man in my all orange. The reason it's all orange is. I was going to use a special effect. That looked like you were in the clouds. Like heavenly you know. And I just put my thumb over the camera. And it said. Step out of the camera view or whatever and I and so I leaned in did like this and it took my finger away and it stayed orange and it didn't go to the clouds so it didn't work anyway that's why it was all orange well anyway the link in the description box and the Steve Mac 88 channel takes you to Steve Mac 88 who is not the guy that did that video I recorded this is all God. This is three witnesses to the same stuff. Okay? So, if you go to this, the link in the description box of the video that's all orange, okay? And you listen to Steve Mack, he explains his dream. Of what he saw. Now it is not worded the same. It is not exactly the same. But it me it, it comes. His starts off with seeing three pastors. In what looks like thrones. But they weren't on the ground. They were like 15 feet off the air. Off the ground. In the air. And they were like spread apart. A good, he didn't say how far. He didn't say 10 feet. He didn't say 10 miles. But he's, they were apart. And they weren't speaking to each other. And they all held a torch. Okay. And everybody started being chaotic. And robbing each other. And then there was gunfire. And people had guns. And then the next thing, Russia and China... Uh, Chinese military and Russian military came in because he saw no police. There were no police anywhere. So they were the police. These foreign troops were our police. And they started arresting people and putting them in FEMA camps and taking their guns and causing the chaos to stop. Okay? Now, how close does that sound to Dana Coverstone's video for November, the November part? Okay, I believe that's when that was. It might have started October, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was November. Okay, but, 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 but what is so miraculous about this, to me, it's of God, therefore it's a miracle. This man's dream, the Steve Mac 88, backs up the man that I recorded, whoever that is. The link in our sister's email 
takes you to a video that said this video is no longer available. And I'm like, Lord, what in the world <laughs> is going on? All I can say is he wants us to realize he is on the throne. He is in control. He knows what's going on. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The man was shown after he woke up. He told his wife, you're going to have to do a Bible teaching today. I can't do it. And he said he was blessed to have a wife that could do that. And he said, I got to pray. and I got to get a meaning for this dream. And he said the three pastors represented Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They are on the throne and they could see what was going on. They knew exactly what was happening. And it was being allowed for a reason. So I just had to tell you about that because I find this phenomenal. I know when I copy and paste link, I even double check the last three letters to make sure there's not a period or a hashed, hashed, what do you call it, a forward slash, backward slash, whatever. And I go back and look at it, usually, maybe not always. But when you copy and paste, you believe that whatever you copied is going to be pasted, right? But the link that ended up was the one to Steve Mac 88. And whoever I listen to, I don't know who it is. If anybody knows that voice and who that is, then please put it in the comments so I can go to his video, get the link to his video and put him in the description box also so people that come up on it later will see that and get, and re realize that I, I, I need to go back to my description box I guess I'm going to put and see also this video so that it'll be as for sure another one that people can see that and I'm going to put that scripture out of the mouth of two or three witnesses let a thing be established this thing has been established we are to be getting ready we are in our last moments people we won't see 2021 I mean I find this very exciting and you should too. And I just pray that everybody is found worthy. Everybody that hears this, I pray you're found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. Do you want to be under Chinese and Russian rule? Please accept Jesus as your personal Savior. He loves you so much. Get rid of those things you need to get rid of. Stop playing around if you are. And stop playing church if you're still going and not being fed. Now, if you're being fed and they're not telling you to do stuff that you're hearing the opposite of on YouTube from people that are sincere and that you know are of God. You see, this they have their agenda. The churches that are 501c3 that give you an income tax deduction for your giving, they have signed up with the government to be tax deductible and in return they have to not teach against abortion 
They cannot tell you who to vote for. They cannot tell you to be um, against vaccinations. In fact, they may help give them at church. How convenient. I don't know. I don't know how deep that goes. How deep does that go? Anyway, I'll end it at this. I plead the blood of Jesus over this. I pray, I got to say this, if you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior, you need to confess that you are a sinner in need of salvation. You need to ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins. You need to realize that there is a higher power and his name is God Almighty. And there are three in one. And that's a mystery I cannot explain to you in five minutes. Father, Jesus, and their Holy Spirit, which is the omnipresence of God, it's God on earth and everywhere. He's there and he's here. He's everywhere. That's how God sees everything. He knows everything. He knows your heart. He knows your mind. He knows your intentions. Why did you help that person? Was it to gain points in heaven or because you love them? What, why do you do good works if you do them? Do you do them because you love them? Do you have the mind and heart of Christ? We are to have the mind of Christ. We are to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We're to love our neighbor as ourself. Not pretend to, but to really do it. And you might say, how do I do that? They're so hateful. Our war is not against flesh and blood. It's against the powers and principalities in the high places and in the heavenlies. And that's not the third heaven where God is. That's the second heaven. Where I don't think Satan and his fallen angels have been kicked out of there yet. That's later in the book of Revelation, which I know is not written in chronological order, but I think it happens after the first rapture. And God help you if you think you're going and you're left behind. I pray you've stocked up. I pray you have plenty of water. I pray you have plans I just really hate the thought of anybody who thinks, oh, I know I'm good enough. I know I'm going. So you're not stocked up. You have nothing because you think you don't need it. But there are people in your past you haven't yet forgiven. Or there's that neighbor that's so hateful, you just cannot find a way to be nice to her. You just can't. You have to just ignore her. You see, it, oh, how do I explain to you? Okay, I've told this before. Maybe it'll help you. I dated this guy after my second husband left me for another woman. He said he was a minister. And... He turned out to be a satanic minister. All right, my daughter and his ex-stepdaughter who lived with him, yeah, she chose him over a boy because her mother wouldn't let her date him. She was 14 and he was in college. How would you do? I mean, I'd say she'd made a good call, but she had a fit. She calls up this guy and he ends up coming to get her, and she goes to live with him. 
Anyway, so I, they tell me that he's, they introduced him to me, so I like him. He's very charming, very good looking, and he wins me over, so I'll trust him with my daughter to let her stay over there a lot that summer that they were 14. Or maybe they were 15 by then. Point is, they come tell me he's been molesting them. He dated me, and I thought he felt for me the way I felt for him. But no, it was a charade. So he would get my trust, and I would let my daughter go over there. Well, okay, I could have. He ended up molesting her, and I could have chosen to hate him, and I was more afraid of him than hating him, but I did. I had to really work on my feelings toward him, and the way I did it was I imagined him as a little blonde toddler, a baby being brought up by a biker mom and who knows what kind of dad that caused him to end up in a satanic coven. What did he go through that made him that way? Knowing what I know now about satanic rituals and what they do to their own children to keep them in the coven so they'll have another generation of Satanists to worship Satan. You see? Well then I felt very sorry for him and I was able to pray for him. Okay, you might find that very hard but I'm telling you when you look at a, an innocent little child and you think about how they were treated it really helps you to be able to forgive. It really does. It did me. If you don't have the mind of Christ, then you don't love him enough. You need to work on your love for him. And you better do it throughout the day, every day, till the rapture. The closer you get to him, the closer you can understand what others have gone through that made them so mean and grumpy and satanic or into witchcraft. You see, and always know that pleading the blood of Jesus and asking Father to keep a hedge of protection around your property made up of warrior angels and an extra hedge of protection made up of the wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven. I ask him to close it in and encapsulate us with the wall of Holy Spirit fire from heaven. That is to keep out curses hexes, vexes, voodoo, plus I state that for all of us. And I don't know if it works for those who aren't living right, but I say it anyway, hoping it helps to protect them as well. Because I'm talking family, YouTube family, all the saints in the world, all the rest of my relatives. And I don't know some of them. I don't know if they're saved. But I want them to be. So anyway, I wanted to explain this little miracle, I call it. I don't know what else to call it. What do you, how is it possible that that, how else is it possible for that link to disappear and another one to be put in its place? 
or did Steve Mack play that other man's video? Did he do that? It, but did I tell you, Steve Mack, 88, the, the black man, had his stream on June 30th, the same night as Dana Coverstone? Yeah, you should listen to it. The link is in the description box of that orange video. The orange box. <laughs> okay. Oh, my comp oh, 1016, I got a number. Oh, Jesus, and then it was a very bright moon there. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was weird. <laughs> it freaked me out, kind of. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go over here, 1016. I'm, I'm going to type that in. I, I don't know. Booze, probably from the base of Boo KW, I don't know, it's G1006. means ox, an ox, a cow, a grazing cow, animals, that doesn't sound like anything conformational, uh, Luke thirteen fifteen says, the Lord then answered him and said, thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath Loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering. Luke 14, 5. And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? And another set, uh, Luke 14, 19. Okay, so that's clearly just animals. Let's go to Hebrews. It may be nothing. I, I just never, I haven't had that in quite a while. This is Bafta, Bafta Gaon, Bafta Gaon. Uh, it means Beth Dagon, House of Dagon. The Temple of Dagon? That doesn't mean anything. Why did that happen? It's only about the town of Beth Dagon. Hebrew 10.16 I don't know. I, I, I can't understand why my computer... In the middle of me making a video would black out, give me a time, a number, which is a, the time of the day, and then a picture, and then goes back to being a, what I'm doing. I don't know. I can't explain it. Maybe 1016 means something to somebody else. 116. I don't know, but I'm going to end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over my video, over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections. And I pray that we are so out of here soon. And I just, I'm just amazed. God was just showing us that he can do whatever he wants. Simple little thing like that, that's nothing for him. That's nothing for him. But he wants you to know he's still on the throne, that's for sure. And I'm glad our sister in Christ caught that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known about it. Okay, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.